two major tips for better intimacy in your marriage. Number one, tell your spouse what you like and desire and ask them what they like and desire. Ironically enough, it's uncomfortable to talk about this for a lot of people, but it also breaks down walls and makes it more comfortable for you both to do those likes and desires. By doing this, it makes it that much more pleasurable, hence making you both wanting to do it that much more often. Number two, affirm your spouse. Sure, it's an obvious that you both enjoyed it, but shoot them a compliment. Who doesn't like getting told that they did a good job in everyday life, let alone the bedroom? That night, say something. The next day, say something. It feels good and builds confidence, which only makes it more enjoyable and makes you both want it even more. And these are two small tips, right? Like you should think those are no-brainers, but oftentimes we've maybe mentioned it in the past of like, hey, you know, this is what I like, this is what I don't like. And maybe we've mentioned it in passing or we've kind of given subtle hints, but we all change, especially in a marriage. You were different when you were 23 when you got married, where you were 33, 43, right? Like that changes all the time. Our desires, our wants, our needs, things that change. Like maybe back when you were younger, you used to drink more and you like had different preferences or whatever it may be. But then now as we change, our bodies change, our desires change. But only in that, then when our marriage changes too, we start growing or things have maybe grown a little stale and we're like, mm, let's try this. Or maybe you heard a friend talk about something that they've tried. Your, your spouse is never going to know that your friend did that if you don't mention it to him. Like, hey, you know, so-and-so did this and they said it was kind of cool. Like, what do you think? Change it up. Yeah, totally. Change it up, mix it up. And those things, it doesn't mean that like now that's a permanent thing you have to do. Like, Try new things or just like, or it's like you're, maybe you've been doing something a certain way and they just didn't want to hurt your feelings. Then they can come in and say, hey, you know what? Actually, maybe I like it when you do this or whatever that might be. That really helps. It's definitely it, a must to talk about it. Yeah. And it makes the situation that much better. So like if you guys already have good sex, that could make it even better, right? Or if maybe you're like, eh, you know, not all that into it, that can make it so where you are into it. Or if you're having a problem in your relationship where you're getting denied sex regularly, maybe it's because one half of the, of the, the, you know, maybe you're not getting your needs met and maybe they're not getting their needs met. So the action when you go and do it isn't all that great or magical, whatever you want to call it, passion filled, then it's not leaving much to be desired for another go round. And again, and then that's kind of just been the same process for a while. And it's kind of like, eh. Here we go. I know we're going to go to the bed. I know it's going to be at 10 o'clock tonight. I know it's going to be missionary or the same position we always do. And it's going to be this, this, and this, and it's over with, right? Like, That's why it's so important to talk about it and mix it up. Yeah. So, so important. But then also affirming them, right? Like that's a huge one, especially if you know your love languages. Mine is affirmations. I like being told I'm doing a good job in multiple things in life. Let alone it's always cool in that. But then it's also kind of fun, right? Like it's not like, oh, hey, we had this taboo sex and we're never going to mention it again. <laughs> it's fun to be like afterwards jokingly be like, hey, yo, you were kind of kind of getting crazy tonight. Like yeah. that was really good. You're flirty with it the next day. Yeah. And that's fun. Then when you're kind of flirty the next day, she's saying it makes you almost be like, oh, I'm getting kind of turned on right now. She might be getting kind of turned on right now. Maybe yeah. make a subtle move where you kind of like, oh, go grab them or something. If they reciprocate. Then you know, like, hey, maybe it's go time. Like, but if it's not, then you leave a little to be desired for the next time. You got to feel the situation out and then take it from there. So implement them, you know, but you get like anything. What matters the most? Consistency, applying, trying, pivoting, changing things up, all of that. All the above. We'll just make this grow. But it's not like anything you didn't just do at one time. You got to keep doing it. We've been, like I said, we've been together for 23 years and we still mention these things and are getting more and more comfortable with it, right? Like we were all always been pretty comfortable with it, but we're even getting even more um, loose with it and things like that and just being even, even more so. So it doesn't mean because right now it's awkward, but it's always going to be it's just going to get, a, like I said, the walls will break down more and more. And I promise you it will light a fire in your in your marriage. So get after it, literally. <laughs>